Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a singles reading for all you lovely singles out there. And we're gonna be seeing who's coming towards you, what sort of things you're gonna go through, and what exciting stuff you've got to look forward to. So let's get started. We have group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four. And let's get started into this pick a card. So starting off with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading and let's see who's coming towards you, what's happening for you guys. So for the advice cards, we have you are the light. It is, stay, it, it, it is safe to step fully into your light. Okay, the lovely bear. This bear spirit has really come present for me in the last couple of days. So that's really, really interesting. We then have starfish intuition. Listen to your soul's truth. Think less, feel more. Giraffe, the bigger picture. Take a step back and gather your thoughts and feelings, which is gorgeous. And then we also have hedgehog, acceptance, embrace who you are, which is so nice. Every time I get the hedgehog, as you guys know, if you've been watching my channel for quite a while, when the hedgehog comes up, it's basically accepting yourself for who you are and to know that everything you've been through is a process and you will get through it, okay? And the hedgehog is very cute, but it also has spikes. So if you get too near it, you can basically get, get spiked, okay? So for you guys, I really do feel like it's very important for you to just acknowledge that maybe you put up these walls over the years and these are going to start breaking down and underneath it you're just a cute little hedgehog who just wants to be loved okay so let's see what else we have from the moonology we have confidence is your key to success new moon in leo so if you guys i feel like you're more of the kind of introverted or shy kind of area i feel like for you guys so we're gonna have a look into that and see what else you have coming towards you so from the astrology we have ninth house seeking capricorn and leo it's funny because you have leo twice so i definitely feel like you guys are going to meet a leo or a fire sign or an earth sign especially capricorn you could also be a leo or a capricorn for the tarot we have the two of cups nine of swords the hierophant and we also have the four of pentacles so basically what i'm feeling is the hierophant <clears throat> it makes me feel like you guys have always wanted something very stable i mean don't we all you want something stable, but basically you've possibly been scared of commitment. You've possibly been scared of kind of putting your foot forward, possibly because lack of confidence or lack of feeling good enough for that person or just feeling good enough within yourself, like having enough confidence to deal with things yourself. So with this two of cups, it's making me feel like you guys are going to come into your own. You're going to feel much more comfort comfortable with who you are. And you guys are possibly going to meet somebody through traveling or somebody who's quite far away. And there's somebody who really makes you feel very safe and comfortable. And there's somebody who is really kind of open-minded. There's somebody who doesn't judge. They love to kind of cultivate all the different cultures from all over the world. And they also like to, they're very good at dealing with people who are mentally ill or need caring for because they're very calm, they're very collected. They're very good at caring for other people. So this person I feel like is very good for you because I feel like you do possibly have anxiety issues or you have some sort of worry about your love life and you possibly need just a little bit more encouragement. So for you guys, you definitely have love coming in. Leo is the lover in this deck, especially it says the lover. So we also got the boss and the lover and my legs are tingly. So I feel like for you guys, you're gonna find somebody who is going to, I think even boss you around, so maybe boss you around, I don't know. I don't know if that's like you want, but this is gonna be somebody who can take control and somebody who's a gem, somebody who's very, very unique and they, just care a lot they really really care work is going to be very important to them but it's not going to be as important to them as you are so for you guys you may feel like this person does like their work a little bit more than you but i do feel like both of you are in the same boat we are both kind of nervous about the relationship coming towards you guys and it just feels like you may think oh maybe they don't want me maybe they are not really interested in me and i think it's because you guys both have the same thing about mirroring each other where you are quite insecure about having a relationship and so are they but you want a relationship you're just kind of worried okay is this person going to suddenly leave me are they going to kind of want somebody else and i feel like for you guys you're both going to end up having a very stable relationship it's literally just getting past the anxiety of knowing that you're good enough and knowing that this is the one and it's going to be the one <clears throat> so this is a very very strong confident person i feel like they are i feel like for you guys it's also just having the confidence to move forward towards this person and knowing that you are able to cultivate somebody and my palm is really itching so i do feel like it's something to do with money so you can meet this person through travel i'm hearing like transport so something to do with transport or like it's like the in-between stage between going from one country to another so maybe meet them on a plane or a train 
or a car something like that maybe an uber i know it's so random but i feel like you guys are going to meet them in a very strange place but i feel like you guys know when this person is going to come in your intuition is going to be like that it's going to be very very heightened and you guys really just need to step fully into your light and know that you do have a lot to offer and you are going to find someone who really really suits you <clears throat> And also I feel like for you guys, you're gonna be cultivating a lot of your money. By the time you meet this person, it's gonna be very, very important to focus on your money and things like that. Um, I'm really getting drawn to this rose quartz, so I do feel like it's gonna be a very loving relationship, very, very psychic. Um, for you guys, I feel like it's more of a grounded relationship, not too spiritual, but I feel like it's very grounded, very respectful, very mature. I feel like you've been waiting for this guy, but I feel like some of you have been waiting for like five, 10 years for this person. So they're definitely going to come in and it's going to be amazing. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up, subscribe down below. And if you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. Thank you so much for watching. Namaste. I love you. I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see who's coming towards you, my lovely single person watching this video. <laughs> so let's see what's going on. We have Frog. Stepping into your power. Don't take a backseat in your story. It's time to step up. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is very, very similar to group number one. I feel like it's all about stepping into your power. Sorry guys, I'm just checking my mic. Um, it's all about stepping into your power, stepping into your own authority and knowing that you have the power to move forward. And you, and it's basically just stepping into your own power about feeling confident and an individual and just feeling really, really good about yourself. So we then have Scorpio, Libra, and we also have the 11th house. The 11th house is all about friendship, group activities, communities, experimentation, the future. So it could even be festivals as well. You could meet this person at a festival, it could be a group situation. Your person could also be a Scorpio or a Libra, or you could be that, or they could have that strongly in their chart. We then have the Nine of Cups, lovely, very content. We then have the Hanged Man and the Star. And we also have you and your loved ones are safe, New Moon in Cancer. So you could also feel um, like this person has very this person has very strong cancerian traits. So they're very kind of connected to how they love and they love family and that sort of thing. So for you guys, you've been waiting a very long time for this person. You have been sitting patiently, sitting and waiting patiently. And I feel like you guys ha have really cultivated what you feel is what you want. And you've also started to feel more comfortable within yourself and taking a long time for yourself. And just really kind of working on whatever it is you're working on and it's just for you it's not for anyone else so for a lot of you guys it's going to be a very very sexual intense passionate relationship something that's very very balanced somebody is going to love balance with you and it's going to be a relationship that is just very loving and this person is going to be like an expert at love they're gonna they've always wanted love you this could also be you also uh, always wanted love always wanted a relationship and never kind of found that right person now this person's going to start to come in and you've been waiting for such a long time and this person's going to come in in divine timing guys going to come in in divine timing because we've got the star here also so whether you've been waiting for this person for five years one year one month you know this person is going to come in when it's the right time and this cancerian is also showing me that it, you they're going to make you feel really really safe really really comfortable so with this stepping in your power the more you kind of focus on yourself and focus on your individuality as yourself in your own little world is going to make you feel so much more powerful and so much more ready for a relationship a lot of the time people can get into a relationship and they feel very insecure very uncomfortable this time i feel like you're not going to feel like that you're going to feel very comfortable you're going to be like right this is the right decision i want to do this i really like this person with the edge it makes me feel that you're kind of stepping over something in something like unknown territory which is absolutely amazing i love that and because this is all about startups, the future discoveries, it's definitely going to be a relationship you've probably never had before. It's something very new and fresh. It feels like, wow, I don't actually know what to do because this is so good. But it's like uncomfortable, but it's also scary because it's like I've never been in this sort of situation before. OK, but I really, really like you guys. This is very, very positive. I'm going to choose a dice for you guys because you didn't have a lot of cards this time around. So let's see what number you should be looking out for for this person. Number two. So partnerships and kind of coming together, community, that sort of thing. So look out for number two. We also have 11 here, which is one one, which is also two. So look out for the number 11. I thought like this is going to be a soulmate for sure. Definite soulmate. And it's going to be somebody who is just so weird and interesting. I thought like you're going to be like, whoa, this person has so much personality. I love it. You could also have um, astronomy or astrology um, kind of interests in common. And you both have been through a very long journey that has caused you to kind of transform and kind of go inward and just really kind of reflect on what's going on in here. 
and you really kind of are not taking a back seat in your story anymore and you're really stepping up to the plate and, th and actually thinking I want this I want this now bitch <laughs> okay so that is your reading guys I really hope you liked it if you did don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe down below if you would like to also if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below I'll speak to you very soon namaste much love bye hello group number three let's get started with your reading let's see who is coming towards you we have surrender let go of limiting beliefs be as expansive in your thoughts as your soul is so it's basically just surrendering to the moment and knowing that this person will come along they will and they'll come along when it's the right time okay guys i know that's crap i know it's not always what you want to hear but they will come along when it's the right time okay so we also have conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse so this is really really interesting so you've basically been working really really hard you're you and you are going in the right direction you are going to a place that is really really gonna be so good for you and you're going to feel much much more happy about yourself and your situation we also have saturn wisdom cancerian the doula semi-sextile allowing oh this is so interesting we're gonna have the king of pentacles and the two of wands so you're probably going to meet somebody in a place that you've never been before someone that's very new and this person is most likely going to be a water sign or a earth sign just take it as it resonates it could also be air as well but i feel like this person is very very caring they're very sympathetic and they're extremely wise they're like an old soul they're like a mother or a father kind of like almost because they're such an old soul they're going to probably like mother you or be very kind of like mothering to you whether they're a male or female because they're just very loving and they just want to take care of you the moon is also very significant in this relationship so there may be a significant change in the moons when this person comes in it could be like a full moon i'm hearing full moon in pisces so as i say conclusions are within reach so there's definitely a massive shift in your energy and this is going to change when you surrender and i know how hard it is guys you can't surrender 24 7 but just just do as much as you can you know you're not good it's not having to be perfect all the time and it's not having to say that if you don't surrender one day that everything's going to come crashing down like that's not how it is it's funny because it says limiting beliefs and it says expansive as your soul is so there's something about your relationships and your going forward that you're kind of confused about what you want to do it's almost like maybe you think you can't have a relationship maybe you think oh it's too late for me or time is ticking or you know maybe it's like oh okay well I don't really care that sort of thing I feel like it's best to kind of come back to that and kind of have more of an open-minded perspective but just kind of let it go and I know it's hard guys I know it's hard I'm not the most perfect to this I don't feel like every, every, anyone's perfect to this it's just basically just doing your best and that that is enough okay so we also have the wisdom card which is all about structure responsibilities maturity self-control and the fact that this is in cancer is really making me feel like somebody as I say is going to be very nurturing to you and they're gonna make you feel really really comfortable and grounded and as the grounded makes sense because you have the earth signs there could be also a taurus because taurus and cancerians go really well together and then we have allowing it's going to be somebody who helps you grow um creates a new cycle with you and also encourages you to do the best that you can so let's see what number for you guys to look out for number six i do feel like you guys are going to be starting a new start when you meet this person it's going to feel like a whole a whole new world <laughs> so it sounds re it's, it's really really good guys i really really feel like you could also meet this person traveling or just someone that's very quite kind of quite far away from you it could also be online dating or possibly like social media that sort of thing thank you so much for watching if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below i'll speak to you very soon namaste much love bye hello group number four let's get started with your reading let's see who is coming towards you my lovely single human being <laughs> so let's get started and let's see i've got a really itchy knee cool let's get started so we have the polar bear nurture allow any anxieties and worries to be gently released and offered up to be healed which is lovely this is such a pretty card as well like look at that so pretty and then we also have the eagle ancestral healing your ancestors are holding space for you to heal your past which is so lovely okay so let's have a look at the rest of the cards we then have from the moonology we have adjustments are required i definitely feel like you guys are healing a lot you're healing a lot and nurturing you need to nurture yourself we then have the north node empowerment conjunction and the numinous mystery from the tarot we have the six of swords the devil the seven of wands and the eight of cups so for a lot of you guys you could be kind of in the zone where you guys are still healing a lot of energy you're healing a lot of your old 
ancestral like ancestral family patterning sort of thing a lot of your old patterns that you've kind of been running for a long time and you're learning to let go of that so with this group I really feel like you are adjusting at the moment you're kind of moving through a period I feel like this is the the first group that I felt out of all the four groups that is the most kind of in need of healing at the moment I feel like for a lot of you guys it's really important for you to kind of just focus on yourself and that's really hard to say but in terms of saying some in terms of someone coming towards you I feel like if you move forward towards somebody too soon then your old patterning is just gonna almost be triggered again. So I feel like you need to heal yourself first. And if it doesn't resonate with you, maybe just choose another group because I feel like this group is more about just yourself. And I felt like the other groups were more about other people and putting other people coming in. This group is more about focusing yourself and leaving the old part of you behind. And this is definitely a lot to do with where you're going, where you're moving forward, about feeling empowered and knowing that whatever happens is it's gonna be a mystery but it's going to be a gorgeous mystery because you're just trying to figure out who you are. I feel like for a lot of you, you could have broken up with somebody very soon or very soon, very recently, um, or you could have been kind of debating whether this is the right decision to make, whether to kind of leave somebody and kind of leave them to it and you just focus on yourself. This is what's they're kind of showing you guys. It's really important for you to just focus on your own healing and kind of just see is there anything that I need to look at before somebody comes into my life, okay? So with the devil, it's basically showing me, you guys, there's some sort of deep past that really is needing to be looked at. And this, this group kind of makes me feel quite sad and almost like funeral-esque because there's definitely like a death of something that's being left behind, which I feel like is absolutely perfect. That's what we want. We want something to be left behind so we can get, some, so we can get to the new. But it doesn't mean it's going to be perfect, you know? So... So I definitely feel like for a lot of you guys, the devil is showing up to show you this. there is parts of you that still need to be healed, still parts of you that are, you may be pushing down, so try not to avoid them. Um, and the best way to kind of move through the energy, and I have said for another group, maybe it's in another video, but I've said it before where I have, uh, where we do emotional fitness and you basically acknowledge the feelings and let them flow. So you say, I acknowledge part of me feeling sad. And then you say about, about being single, and then I choose to let these feelings flow right now. And you put your hand in your heart and you breathe in. And breathe out. And then you just look kindly at yourself like you would like a little puppy. And then you kind of, that's how basically how you do it. So for a lot of you guys, it's important to really move away from things that aren't serving you anymore. Whether that's past uh, patterns in yourself, whether that's toxic people, toxic environments. As long as, do as much as you can guys, because obviously we're all on here doing our own little thing and sometimes we can't always do everything at once, obviously. But you are moving away in something that's gonna be much more fulfilling for you. You're, you're moving away from things that are no, no longer serving. You're saying, no, this isn't feeling good for me anymore. So I really wanna pull you some more tarot. I wanna see what else is coming towards you guys, because I feel like this is more about your healing. And I wanna kind of see what else we have here getting in, in a little bit more detail beautiful so strength it's definitely taking you a lot of strength to kind of get through this you may be talking to a leo or you may meet a leo because of what you're kind of going through beautiful ten of wands so you guys are really releasing things and a lot of burdens have been lifted off of you and are being lifted off of you so you're not going to be in this situation forever <clears throat> and then you're going to start moving forward most likely with an air sign or you could just be um, acting like an air sign where you are kind of moving really forward quite quickly you also have the ace of pentacles so i do feel like it's going to be a new career change for you also and you possibly meet somebody through work and it's going to be very victorious so i do feel like it's funny that all these cards are here but if i didn't shuffle the cards they wouldn't have come out so it's really interesting that you may feel like oh things aren't going to happen things aren't changing but it's only because it's what you're going through right now it doesn't mean it's going to be like that forever and it's not going to be like that forever because we have new opportunities coming in with someone new who is going to be there for you it's just taking that little bit more extra time just to focus on yourself and to um, really nurture yourself I love this, allow any, allow any anxieties and worries to be gently released and offered up to be healed, which is just so perfect. Like, I love that so much. I think it's just so, like, sweet and loving. I just think it's so important to really focus on what makes you feel good and to know that these anxieties are normal, you know? Every emotion is normal, every emotion is sacred, and it's okay to be vulnerable and scared and frightened, you know, because they're normal feelings and they're not things that we should push down just because they're scary, you know? We're taught to kind of, like, push things down, like, don't look at it, like, distract yourself. Like, but it's not good, like, they're obviously coming up for a reason, you know? And the more you look at them, you think, actually, 
I have so much control over this, you know, I can do this. I'm a strong human being and I'm a fucking boss. I'm a boss ass bitch. So let's see what number is going to come forward for you guys for you to look out for when this person starts coming in. We have number three. Three is also showing me about creativity and they're telling me transformation. So I definitely feel like number three is going to be a really good number for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I really feel like you guys are getting very empowered and you're going towards your destiny. A lot of you guys, it is a mystery where you're going, but you are going to get there and you're going to be on the other side. It's going to be absolutely beautiful as we can see in the cards. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up, subscribe down below. And if you would like a private reading from me, all my information is down below. And I'll speak to you very soon. Namaste. Much love. Bye.